Welcome to the Dog and Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. It's hard to believe we only got a week left of spring camp, less than a week, just five days away from the orange and white game coming up on Saturday. Hope to see you guys there. We're going to be tailgating, hanging out in the G10 parking garage. But when we are less than a week away from the spring game, that also means we are right around the corner from transfer portal season. I made a video a couple of weeks ago talking about Josh Pate, who has said this is going to be complete chaos you know typically you look at the spring you think it's after spring camps it's kind of guys that are lower down on the depth chart they're looking for playing time not as hot as it is coming out of fall when all these guys enter the transfer portal but Josh Pate saying it's going to be the wild west because all the rules have been thrown out the window NIL is the wild west you can transfer more than once we've talked about Caden Proctor transferring from Alabama to Iowa going through spring camp now it looks like he's going to head back to Alabama so it is going to be complete chaos my question to you on this video what is a position of need that you think we need to fill if you were Josh Heupel you sit down and you look at this roster after the spring do you think we need to add some depth maybe in the secondary are you looking to fill that position at left guard what about the running back position because for me when I look at this roster you've got the injury to Cam Seldon you've also got Peyton Lewis who is a guy that I thought probably could have ended up being the third string running back had he participated in spring camp. But you're talking about a true freshman that had to sit out. He had to sit on the sidelines. And yes, he's in the meeting rooms. He's learning this offense. But is a true freshman going to be ready to go this fall? And then also Deshaun Bishop, uh, Khalifa Keith, are those guys SEC running backs? You may agree with me. You may disagree with me. I think Tennessee needs to go into the transfer portal and look to add a running back. And this came out earlier today. Matt Zenitz puts it on Twitter. Ohio State running back Dallin Hayden has informed the Buckeye staff that he plans to enter the transfer portal when the spring portal window opens, sources tell 247 Sports. Hayden, a former four-star recruit and the son of former Tennessee and NFL running back Aaron Hayden, ran for 553 yards as a freshman in 2022 now it confirms their four-star running back coming out of high school top 250 player he was an in-state kid he was a Tennessee kid one of the top players coming out of the state of Tennessee in the class of 2022 is there legitimate interest does the VFL legacy want to come home to Knoxville we're going to get into it we're going to talk about it but I need you guys to do me a quick favor all that YouTube stuff smash the thumbs up just below the video it's quick free easy it helps the channel and I would greatly appreciate it uh, also if it's your first time on the Talking Vols Network, welcome. We're not experts here. We're not insiders. We're not media. We don't talk at you. We talk with you. This channel is for the fans, by the fans. If you like what we do, subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. You're not going to miss out when we go live or when we drop a video. We're going to be live tomorrow night like I am every Tuesday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, playing NCAA football. We'll talk all things Tennessee football. And then Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to be talking a lot of recruiting. We're going to talk about spring camp. We're going to talk about what we're looking for coming up in the orange and white game all kinds of fun content coming your way so make sure you're subscribed and clicking that bell for notifications let's go look at the article from 247 sports it says here ohio state running back dallin hayden expected to enter the transfer portal now why that's always the first question we ask why is he entering the portal well you can see there right under the headline a member of ohio state's loaded running back room is expected to enter the portal. Now, again, Dallin Hayden coming out of high school, very highly rated prospect, four-star prospect. The scouting the scouting report on him at that time uh, says he's got a college-ready build at a sturdy 195. Highly productive junior season, which showed he could break long runs and hit creases with burst and acceleration. Uh, but he is also a physical runner who will lower his shoulder and initiate contact when he needs to. Runs hard and does not stop on contact. Shows wiggle and elusiveness, but mostly appears to be a one-cut and go back has shown that he can catch the ball and run routes and use his physicality as a pass blocker as well. Again, that's coming out of high school. Mr. Tennessee, he won the Mr. Tennessee Award after his junior year, I do believe. But then he's also done it at the next level. He did it at Ohio State as a true freshman in 2022, ran for 553 yards, averaged five yards per carry, had five touchdowns, shown that he can do it at the elite level 
However, buried in that running back room, that is worth taking note of. Uh, Matt Zenitz goes on to say here, a member of Ohio State's loaded running back room is expected to enter the portal. Buckeyes redshirt sophomore running back Dallin Hayden has informed the Buckeyes staff that he planners, plans to enter the portal when the spring transfer portal window opens on April the 16th. Now, again, circle that date on your calendars because it's going to be the Wild West. There's going to be a lot of stuff to talk about and to cover uh, when it comes to the transfer portal. Goes on to say Hayden, a former four-star recruit, son of Tennessee and NFL running back Aaron Hayden, ran for 553 yards, posted 300-yard rushing games as a freshman at Ohio State in 2022. He ran for 110 yards in three games for the Buckeyes last season. Now, doing some homework, doing some research, the plan, and that was the ultimately uh, what happened. They wanted a red shirt uh, Hayden after his sophomore year. So that's what they've done. Uh, so he should have a couple of years of eligibility when he transfers. One thing, too, worth noting, when, when you start talking about this and you say, does Tennessee have a legitimate shot at the legacy vol? Uh, looking at when he committed to Ohio State, you know, his dad played at Tennessee. His brother played at Arkansas. I do believe it was Arkansas. He kind of said he wanted to burn his, you know, blaze his own path. Is that So would he want to come back and play in his father's footsteps at Tennessee. We'll continue to get into that in just a second. Oh, we scroll on down here. Uh, this is the quote from Dallin Hayden. It says, I know what I had to work on and what I had to focus on that whole offseason, and I feel like I'm doing better with those areas, so I'm very comfortable. Ran for a career-best 146 yards and three touchdowns during Ohio State's 43-30 to win over Maryland in 2022. Uh, 247 Sports ranked the Tennessee native as the 19th best running back and 20, 226 best overall recruit in the 22 class. Goes on to talk a, lot, a little bit about the Buckeyes uh, running back room, which we don't care about that. We just care that a Vol legacy is on the market. Will Tennessee show interest you guys know what i do i go to the experts and go to the insiders and see what they have to say about dallin hayden now ryan callahan over at go balls 247 said i don't expect him to end up at tennessee but never say never with these things but i don't see it austin price over at volquest says as of now i don't see tennessee going that direction now here's where it gets interesting the follow-up question that somebody asked ap uh, was do you see tennessee taking a running back at all in this transfer portal cycle. He says, as of now, I do not. So th the question becomes, does this really mean it's less about Dallin Hayden and more about Tennessee? Do they have confidence? Does this mean they have confidence in Deshaun Bishop, a guy who after the second spring scrimmage, Josh Heibel stood in front of the media and said he's, he just played his best football since arriving at Tennessee. We talked a little bit about this last night on the fan call-in show. If you missed it, uh, go back and give it a watch. Deshaun Bishop, when he goes to make his commitment, there's three hats on the table. Coastal Carolina, App State in Tennessee. Two of those hats don't belong. Two of those hats are not in the same realm of, of athletic uh, athletes or competition as the other, right? App State, Coastal Carolina don't belong on the table with the University of Tennessee. But Deshaun Bishop has shown up. He's put his head down. He's gone to work. Do you trust him? And the question for me uh, is do you trust him as running back two, right, RB2? Because with the injury to Cam Seldon, number one, it's a shoulder injury. They were saying they hope he gets back by fall. Shoulders are weird, man. you got to go through the rehab. How does it respond? How does the physical therapy go? And then look back to, to Jabari Small a couple of years ago. He dealt with a shoulder. He was out most of the year. Like, he, it's tough to get that shoulder healthy. So how bad is Cam Seldon, and will he be available? And if not, you're looking at Deshaun Bishop and Khalifa Keith as your RB2, RB3. Get in the comment section. Let me guys know, do you have the confidence? Because I'm telling you that I personally don't. I think Tennessee needs to go to the portal. They need to add a running back for depth. And I get it. It's 2024. Cause for concern. Well, you add somebody. Does that mean that, you know, Peyton Lewis hits the transfer portal? Does Deshaun Bishop hit the transfer portal? It's a physical, violent game in the SEC. And I just think that they need to add a running back for depth purposes. So what do you say? Dallin Hayden ball legacy is in the portal. According to the experts and insiders, not likely to end up at Tennessee, but according to Ryan, or like Ryan Callahan said, never say never when it comes to the chaos of the transfer portal. But do me a favor, smash the thumbs up on the way out the door. Go check out the Talking Balls merchandise. You can go to bonfire.com slash store slash talking balls that link is also in the description below uh, shout out to all the members of the channel you guys are what gives me the opportunity to do this full time i am grateful for your support if you like the videos the live streams the community aspect whatever it is you like about this channel uh, think about hitting that join button you can become a member for just a dollar a month 
Access to custom talk involves emojis, a power team beside your name in the chat, fan call-in shows, all kinds of fun perks and benefits. Uh, but if not, hit the thumbs up because that's quick, free, and easy. Jump into the comment section. Let's talk some transfer portal because this is the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange.